Welcome back, True Seeker. I want to go back to September 7th, 2019, the day Joe Burrow and the LSU Tigers beat the Texas Longhorns in Texas after Texas shot a cannon through Joe Burrow's jersey. And I'm going to show you how this was synced up with him winning the championship in the Battle of the Tigers that year in New Orleans, and also how it's perfectly synced up with his first Super Bowl appearance. Now remember, the day that Joe Burrow transferred to LSU, May 20th, 2018, Billy Cannon died. And Billy Cannon was the only player for LSU to win the Heisman before Joe Burrow. And he also defeated Clemson in the championship in New Orleans, exactly what Joe Burrow would go on to do. And now Joe Burrow in his first Super Bowl, in the playoffs, he's defeated the Raiders, the Titans, the Chiefs, and he now faces the Rams. Billy Cannon was drafted number one overall, like Joe Burrow, by the Rams, and he played for the Raiders, the Titans, and the Chiefs. So Joe Burrow's playing all four teams that Billy Cannon's connected to, and those are the only four NFL teams Billy Cannon's connected to. But just think about this, shooting a cannon through Joe Burrow's jersey on September 7th, 2019, when most people don't have a clue about the joke. In Gematria, Burrow equals 97, like the date September 7th, 97. 97 is the 25th prime number, and in Gematria, Cannon and Smokey both equal 25. The name of Texas's Cannon is called Smokey. Keep in mind, this is on the 250th day of the year, 250. But let me show you how this factored in with the college championship and the Super Bowl. And I'll show you the direct parallel to this year's college championship, which we called before week two, why Georgia would beat Alabama. In that game where they shot the cannon through the jersey, LSU won with 45 points. That's the ninth triangular number, Joe Burrow number nine. They won 45 to 38, 83 combined points. Football equals 83. Billy Cannon was born August 3rd, 8-3. He died in St. Francisville. Billy Cannon equals 59, LSU Tigers 59, Pope Francis 59, Joe Burrow will now play in Super Bowl 56 on the Pope's 59th day of his age. But look at this, from the day of that ritual, September 7, 2019, to Super Bowl 56, February 13, 2022, exactly 127 weeks later, 127 weeks in a day, to be more exact, but 127 weeks, Joe Burrow in Gematria, 127 when you use the alphabetic order. Burrow 97 alone when you use the alphabetic order like how they did it on 97. When you use the alphabetic order in rules of numerology, Cannon and Smokey are 25. Again, 97 is the 25th prime. In the 97th NFL season, they moved the touchback from 20 yards to 25 yards. The Super Bowl that year was on 2 slash 5. There was a 25 point comeback by Brady over the Falcons. Falcons 25. This year, we saw that the week two games with Alabama and Georgia were 97 days from the Pope's birthday, the 25th prime, and the championship was on the Pope's 25th day of his age. And if Georgia beat Alabama, they'd pick up their 25th win against Alabama. That's exactly what they did. But notice, from the day that they did that ritual to Burrow winning the college championship that year in New Orleans on January 13th, 2020, the LSU Tigers over the Clemson Tigers... It was a span of 129 days. And recall how in this year's championship, when Georgia beat Alabama, now you got Matt Stafford at Georgia facing Burrow. Vince Dooley was at the game, the last Georgia coach to win the championship. And in his Georgia career, he won 201 games. From his birthday, September 4th, to Georgia beating Alabama was his 129th day of his age. Vince Dooley is 129. And 129 is 201 in base eight counting. The championship was won in Indianapolis, 201 town. This year, Super Bowl 56 is 201 days after Ed Orgeron's birthday, who won the championship with Burrow at LSU. And he had 56 wins under his belt in the regular season the year he won the championship. Now Burrow's in Super Bowl 56, 201 days after his birthday. And in Jewish gematria, Tiger is 201. LSU Tigers over Clemson Tigers. It's the year of the Tiger. Brady retires on the first day of the year of the Tigers, synced up with Burrow. He retires 53 days after Joe Burrow's birthday. When you run the alphabetic order in reverse, Joe Burrow's 53. 
just like Los Angeles is, like Patriots is. 53 is the 16th prime. Los Angeles lost in Super Bowl 53 where there were 16 points scored. Joe Burrow's trying to pick up his 16th playoff win as the new Joe Montana who beat the Bengals in Super Bowl 16 and finished his career with 16 playoff wins. But again, these same number patterns, you guys, all over the place. And it's the Jesuits. Vince Dooley, who had this accomplishment with Georgia, he's from Mobile, Alabama, where one of the nation's 27 Jesuit universities is. So... Again, you guys, college and pro scripted together year after year. It's like when Saban won his sixth championship at age 66 in the Falcon Stadium, and then the next season, Bill Belichick won his sixth championship at age 66 in the Falcon Stadium. Again, you guys, it's nothing but rituals. And again, this Billy Cannon, Joe Burrow thing's deep, and it's all by the numbers. You want to see something wild? One of Billy Cannon's teammates, Warren McVay, who played for the Bengals... And the Chiefs, he played with Billy Cannon on the Chiefs. He was a black guy who wore 42. And notice in his career, he played 56 games. And now you got Sean McVay versus Burrow in Super Bowl 56. Warren McVay is 75 years old right now. Cincinnati Bengals, 75. Joseph Lee Burrow, 75. Also 213, like the Super Bowl on 213. Again, Gematria is based on the alphabetic order forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards with the rules of numerology. You know the four ciphers. You see through all of the rituals. And um, again, if you missed the evacuation of the Cannon Building today on the 34th day of the year, where Burroughs 34, today's his 56th day of his age. And again, the Cannon Building, another Cannon ritual with Joe Burrow. Can't make this stuff up, you guys. Capital equals 76 like Tiger. The championship, February 13th, is 76 days after Joe Burrow's dad's birthday who played 54 professional games. This is the Bengals' 54th season. Joe Montana, 54. Super Bowl 54, the last Super Bowl before Burrow entered the league that was 54 days after Joe Burrow's birthday. Anyway, don't want to overwhelm you guys, but understand the rituals are deep. It's the Jesuits that script it. These guys are born for the part. For the record, uh, Billy Cannon's best ever career game Look it up. It was 35 years to the day of Joe Burrow's birthday on December 10th, 96. Joe Burrow, born in 96, playing for the Queen City, Cincinnati. The Queen's going to turn 96 April 21st. The Bengals are 8-6 versus the Rams all time in Gematria, Cincinnati, 96. Cincinnati Bengals, 156. The Rams come into the game 15-5. Brady beat the Rams in his second season. Only two other players have ever won the college championship in the Super Bowl, Joe Namath and Joe Montana. Anyway, true sicker. Till next time.